G'day fellas and welcome back to another episode of Draft Wars. Today we're going to switch up the tempo a little bit. Instead of having the first 14 picks, we've decided to do the undrafted section. This means that we're allowed to scout all three skills. And I was talking to Dustin just before we hit record. There's a whole multitude of players that we could go after. We're obviously not allowed to draft seven offensive linemen. Probably going to cut out fullbacks because that's going to be a guaranteed dub. But it's going to really be interesting to see what kind of talent there is in the undrafted section. I'm keen to do it. So, are you ready, mate? Oh, crap. My hat was messed up. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm ready when you are. Uh, I was just thinking about something while you were, you were doing that intro, though. Maybe we should cut out kickers and punters also. Yeah, I'm down for that too. No kickers and punters. With that being said, cue the music! Oh, I'm spinning. Okay. <laughs> One. And stop. The Giants. Oh shit, okay, it's my turn. I'm spinning. Two. One. And stop. Well, it looks like both of us are going to the playoffs. I have the Tennessee Titans. I'm not going to the playoffs, are you crazy? I don't know if this is going to be a good episode or not, I'm not going to lie, but I'm excited to, to see how this goes, man. Let's debunk this. There is 450 players in the class. I think you told me that right before we started, that there's 450. Yes. This goes all the way up to... I think it's 220, 220 something. Oh my god, that's I'm already in the fourth. here for a while. 225, yep. So literally 225 people get drafted and then another 225 are left. One more ground rule as well. You know how people like to jump around in the draft and go from first to second and third to first and all that crap? Yeah, if an undrafted yeah. player that you scout and you like jumps up to like a seventh rounder, off limits. Take him off. Yes, I agree. All right, let's get into this then. No offensive line, right? Oh, uh, no, we can go offensive line as long as we're not... You want to go you know, offensive ab abusing line? Abusing that, yeah. Yeah, I feel like our line should be allowed as long as it's not being abused. Okay. I just found a tight end that's a fifth round grade. Hopefully he doesn't jump up. Yeah, the second guy there, George Brock. <laughs> yep. Well, I can't even scout this Tony Tanner, but I got the glitch where I could see what they were. I think yeah. they're a fourth, so I'll come back next week. I don't get that glitch. <laughs> I've never gotten that glitch. Home field advantage, mate. Okay, so a little update here. I'm taking on the 0 and 6 Cardinals, and I'm 1 and 5 as of right now. I haven't even checked my. <laughs> my Tied with the Redskins, mate, at 1 and 5. Bro! Oh, oh, oh. I, take, I take that back. I take that back. I just got the glitch. I literally have to hold it on freaking, like, push, like, the up button and up on the joystick to make it go super fast, and then I have to stop really quick, and then it'll show me for, like, a split second. I, that's what I'm saying. You can literally see where people are meant to go and stuff. It's crazy. This guy that I found is, like, amazing. Like, the talent looks like he's a third rounder, but... Here's I'm, a fourth rounder right here. I'm noticing this, like, is it even possible to get a red gem? Uh, in the undrafted section, I don't think so because it's basically like they're gonna give you a green how it what how yeah it, unless you're like doing all d's and f's i guess yeah i guess well you can't do anything worse than undrafted so oh i just found a quarterback great See, that's the thing is you don't know where to go in the draft because like you can just start scouting when you get in, but you should kind of, I don't know. Like, you've got 225 players to go through. You don't know yeah. where they're going to start getting good. So where are you liking your board right now? Like, what, what you know, I found a lot of undrafted, but I, you know, I bounced back and found some decent players myself. Uh, I literally have, I mean, I'm, I'm selecting everybody because everybody's coming up green gems, but I've literally found a quarterback that I like. Yeah. I found a running back that I like. And then as long as you don't pick this guy up, I found an offensive lineman that I like. I'm going to that I'm going to waste my one of my Oh my god. Yep. I've definitely wasted on that offensive lineman. That's yeah, back by the way. I was 1 and 4 and now I'm 5 and 6. Oh, okay. I just yeah, okay. Okay. Ross Richards, the guy that Dustin wants to take. I found two of them. There, I, I have to double check on that one. There's one with a first round talent and one with a second round talent. What? First and second round talent in the undrafted section. Yes, sir. Here's the bait, though. I feel like there's a lot of positions we're probably going to... A lot of the positions are going to be the same. And we can't really be blamed for that. If somebody's like... Okay. If you find somebody that's like a third round talent, you're not going to not take him. You know what I mean? Like if it's the difference between winning and losing. 
Henry Spofford. There you go. That's him. First yes. round talent in the undrafted yeah. section. 39 reps on the... Bro, this guy is no joke. I mean, no joke, dude. No joke. Wow. And then, uh, and then Eli McBride. Yeah, I got him. Is a right, mid-second round talent, yeah. Ah, what is this? Oh my god, I don't have enough to finish scouting this guy. I really want to see what he is. He's probably garbage, but he looks solid. <laughs> I gotta get my draft board set up. This is a this is an interesting board I have here. If you saw this and didn't know these guys were undrafted, you would think I did a really good job of scouting, like a legitimate round one to seven, you know. But this is these are all right. undrafted players. They're all yep. the ones that I've got on here are solid. Are you ready to yep. do this draft, mate? Dude, I I've been ready since like week fifteen. I went eight and eight, so you definitely got the first pick. Oh yeah, you got the third pick. <laughs> what the oh, hell? Oh wow. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Imagine right. the commentator's face when they see that there's all these amazing players with seven combines, and you go ahead and take like an undrafted guy. They're like, oh okay, that's a very interesting pick. I'm gonna go ahead and go with. Well, I'm on my draft board. He's the the 47th guy on my draft board. I'm going with the left tackle. You are taking the OP left tackle, Henry Spofford. So I'm kind of torn because literally there's only one point between Spofford and Eli McBride. Bro, you see their talent level. What are you talking about? You know Spofford know. is the play. All right, all right. I will go ahead and take Henry Spofford. One. What is he? Man, don't mess me up here. Spofford is a 72 overall. He's ranked 18th in true talent. Wow. That's solid. 18th in it's, true talent in the undrafted section. That's crazy. All right. Well, I'm just going to take... Uh, I, I'm not going to win this round anyway. So I'm just going to take somebody random from the undrafted section. Let's take uh, Let's take Brandon Hanna. Forfeiting this round as well. He's a 59. Yeah. Exactly what I expected. Totally taking this quarterback right here. Scrambler out right. of Lafayette, second fastest, oh, yeah, 4.6, first in the vert jump. Welcome to the Titans. I'm going to guess like 58, max. 54 overall, 416 in true talent. This yeah. is a no-brainer. I'm going Eli McBride, mate. Okay, let's offensive let's, let's line. For offensive line. Uh, this is a second rounder with 38 reps on the bench. He's a yep. 69 overall, ranked 37th in true talent. Oh, 92 wow. strength. Imagine taking, right, an undrafted guy and it being a good pick on the draft analysis saying, you didn't reach at all. Right? Like, what? Come on. My running back's gone, so I'm going to forget about that. Your running back is gone? Yeah. I had a running back that was slated in the third round. He's gone. He was in the undrafted section. That's crazy. So somebody reached big time. I found my dude. So I'm going to take my corner, Nelson Poole, out of Georgia. Hold on, let me... Ah, uh, it's a... It's a Georgia cornerback. This will be interesting. He's the one guy I did scout. Oh, There's like man. green, green, gap of scouting, green, green. Yeah, so he's first in three cone, first in 20-yard shuttle. Yeah, yeah. Late third round talent. Welcome to the Titans. What's his top skills? Were they good or? Skills were uh, man coverage, uh, press, and then zone coverage. It was C plus CC. He oh, is 66 oh. overall, 94 in true talent. Bro, I just had a heart attack. I just went to my draft board, and my draft board was like two people. But I realized I was filtering at my cornerback. I nearly had a heart attack, bro. <laughs> okay, so oh. I'm going to go ahead and take Ronald Tribble, the strong safety out of Georgetown. I'll give you a second okay. to look him up. He has a B, B minus, and C plus, 6.4 combine grade. Okay, well, he's a mid-third rounder. I'm just going off the talent. He looks pretty solid. 66 overall. He's ranked 83rd in true talent. What was yours? You beat me. I was like 94. Go, man. Please let my wide receiver be there. Please let my... He, he yes. should be there. He should be there. He's he's still there. Okay, so go ahead and look up Sylvester Cook. He doesn't look like much, but he is a projected late fourth rounder. I don't know. I don't have him scouted at all, bro. Okay, so he has uh, B catching, B minus spec catch, and C plus catching traffic. That's not bad. Let's go. And he ran a 449, so that's, that's not bad either. So let's go ahead and see what Sylvester Cook turns out to be. Let's do it. 
64 overall, ranked 117 in true talent. That's not a bad pick. I mean, he's projected fourth rounder. But I think I'm yeah. going to one-up you here, mate. Go to defensive tackle and look at my boy Bubba Brinkley out of USF. Oh, he sounds like a beast. B plus finesse, B minus blocking, B minus pursuit. Oh, 6.4 combines. I see he, the combine. He is projected as an early third rounder, mate. Oh, man. Good old Bubba Brinkley. Let's check it out. 67 overall. He's ranked 66 in true talent. Damn, I'm on liking one. this undrafted thing we got going on. So that's 3-1? 3-1. So I'm going to burn my second offensive lineman and get it out of the way. I'm going to take right tackle Rashad Sherman out of oh. Louisville. He's projected late fourth round. His top three skills are run block, power, run block, and lead block. All solid Bs. That does not look like a Rashad. Right? <laughs> What is probably... going on? <laughs> okay, so let's do it in three, two, one. Rashad. Oh, 64 Rashad. overall, 128 in true talent. When you said, I'm going to burn my second offensive lineman and said, you're going to take a right tackle. Yeah. One person came to mind for me. Oh my God. You're just, you're going to sweep me right here, aren't you? Ross Richards out of Alabama. Uh, all these guys he... I didn't. I didn't see. B pass block, B minus run block, B minus lead block. He oh, is no. a late third rounder. Oh no. So he's definitely gonna be better than a 128. Rossi boy, bring it home. 66 overall, 87 in true talent. Ah. Uh, so it's just about scouting. That's all that comes down to. But here's the thing, guys, yeah. for you watching at home, I feel like. If we were to not scout all three, this would have been a horrible episode. Because we would have been pulling yep. 40s and 50s and 51s. Like, at least... Oh, absolutely. Th there's 225 players to scout. In, we didn't even scout the whole season. So, I think it's fair to, like, you know, do all three and find out whose position where. And it is what it is, but... When it comes to undrafted, I, I agree, yes. So there's one thing i got to ask you. Where did that... Who was this running back? Because you said there was a running back you had yes. that was taken so in like the let's... second or something. Was it potentially Garrison Dawson or Ellis Randall? Juan James? Oh, it's got to be one of these two. It's definitely Kirkland Monroe or Vincent Jenkins. It was 22, Vincent Jenkins. So he, he was the a 68 receiving overall. Back. Yep. I like that. Number 48, being different. Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. That looks really ugly. No, but for real, look at his trade spot. He's a team yeah, player, has aggressive possession, run off to catch. So let's go over. I, I didn't personally, I didn't get any hidden developments. I think all my guys came up normal. My tight end, George Brock, is a hidden development at 63 overall. And that's the Wait. guy that I didn't draft because we simmed through my last two picks. Oh, so he was just on your draft board? Yes, he was on my draft board. What is he? He's got to be a star. There's no way he's more than a star. Star development, yep. And then, let's see, Kirby... Nope, so he's the only one. So, that's crazy. George Brock is the only one that was a hidden development. They were solid plays. Like, they were at 60 overalls. Yeah. Only one 69, but... You pulled a 72, didn't you, with that offensive lineman? Yeah, Henry Spofford is yeah, a 72 yeah. overall normal development. Seventh round pick that was simulated is better than my second round pick. Really? Quarterback. This is a guy that has said, I already lost this round. I'm just going to take this guy. Like, I didn't even scout him or anything. I just drafted him. He has 48 awareness. What's your lowest awareness? Lowest awareness is probably going to be on that quarterback, honestly. 52 for the quarterback. Yeah, 52 is the lowest one I have. Damn, that's the free safe to go is 48. <laughs> that's so ass. Oh, my God. All right, well, you got anything to mention, mate? Anything you want to say? This is a meme and a half. That That's about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Well... If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Do not forget, Dustin's link is always down in the description. Go drop him a sub. He's uploading quite regularly again, so you got something to watch over there when you're done here. I'll catch you guys in the next one, fellas. I'm out. Peace. Like I'm so athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on five, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet, touch heaven.